Okay, what's up guys? It's your boy Fry, the producer, and today I'm going to show you guys how to record vocals in FL Studio the way I think they should be recorded. Don't worry about Edison, it's just um, I need the waveform because my screen recorder can't capture the audio for some reason, but whatever. Okay, so first things first, what you want to handle is like what I call the admin side of recording within FL Studio. Um, I treat it just like Pro Tools. I, I I can use Pro Tools. I've got it installed. Um, but I just prefer FL Studio. Um, so first thing what I like to do is I like to choose my channel that I'm going to be recording in. So you can see I've got my input channel here coming through my interface. But the way my chain works is I've got the microphone connected to an analog mixer, which is then sent into the interface channel 4. Don't worry too much about that. It's just the way I like to record. Okay, cool. Next thing, what you want to do is after renaming your file, you want to save this recorded file to somewhere. So if you don't have an external hard drive, don't worry about this step. Um, so just say we've named the file, whatever it is, um, rap verse, damn it, sorry. Rap verse, right? Cool. Now we know it's rap verse, you can find it later. And one little tip that I like to do is, <clears throat> sorry, I got the flu. Um, you want to keep track of everything that you do. You can even see the project that I've made has a name. Everything has a date. It's all there. I can find it easily. So let's just say this was the project we were working on. You've got the beat name, the date, and you've got the beat inside that folder, and then an extra folder with recorded. So that's where all your recordings would be saved. That way you can send these files easily to a Pro Tools engineer, whatever, whatever. Cool. So that's all the admin out the way. Next step is to set up your routing, right? So your routing basically means where all your audio is going. So right now you can see I've got one input, but you can see four channels working, right? So the way I like to work is, and you can see all the shortcuts there, guys, so don't this ask me about shortcuts um what i like to do is i like to pull about 20 channels just for recording sake all towards one main bus right so basically what that means is all of these channels are rooted to this bus which is your master bus okay so starting off with your recording channel i like to use two plugins right and the reason i use these two plugins is um Man, this audio sounds way better if I talk up close to the mic. But anyway, it sounds way more muffled this way, but don't worry too much about that. Um, the reason why I use these two plugins is they have zero latency. Right? So basically what that means is, and also you want to make sure that your buffer length, I should have said this at the beginning, but you want to make sure that your buffer length is set to the lowest possible value without getting glitching or anything usually i record at 128 or 96 it's just i'm using <clears throat> the screen recording um software right now cool so where was i so what i like to do is i like to send my channel towards whatever i'm recording at that moment so i'm going from here to hook let's just say we're recording the hook we go to hook bus uh oops or if we rec verse we go to verse Ooh, audio dropout. Anyway, okay. So then that channel then goes to there. You don't want to double up, meaning go to that channel and this channel because you will get phasing, which sucks. So you want your stuff to be going to one channel at a time. Okay, but don't worry too much about that. You can watch this video again and just understand how the routing works. Okay, so on your master bus channel, you've got your equalizer. All you really need to make an album, guys, is an equalizer and a compressor, okay? Now, the compression settings I'm using are very subtle. You know, when I speak, it's just about 2 decibels, 1.8 decibels of gain reduction, meaning compression, okay? Ask me in the comments if you want my explanation of what I think a compressor is, but you can Google that. That's no problem. So how I set it up is, as you can see here... I've of, ooh, that's bad. Sorry about that. Um, you can see here how loud I'm speaking. So minus 16. So that means I know where to set my threshold. 
So I like to set my threshold about three to four decibels lower than what the incoming signal is. So if the incoming signal is minus 16, I'll set it to minus 19. And then I'll set up a ratio of three to one, two to one, just to get some nice subtle compression. Attack basically means um, how, how long it takes for the compressor to set in, but that's a whole nother video, okay? Cool, so now you've got that out the way and you've got your beat routed to a channel so you can monitor. So I've got a channel called beat, right? There you go. We'll play the beat just to give you guys an example of what it sounds like right now. Yeah, mic check. Oh my gosh, the sounds so weak. Okay. Boom. Now you've encountered a problem. Usually what people would do is they would boost their gain on their preamp to try and match the level of a mastered beat, right? Because we can see I have mixed this beat down and it's pretty loud. Even though I like dynamics, uh, but that's another story. Look at this waveform. It's sexy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, baby, sexy. <laughs> Too much faulty Frank. Anyway. Okay, so what I like to do is just drop it by six decibels, man. Look in the top left corner. Six decibels to ten decibels, right? Depending on how loud your vocal is, right? Cool. So now we'll try again. Yeah, mic check. Testing. One, two, three. The sound's so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality's getting better. Sweet. Okay, cool. Now you've got to your next step. Because the thing is, you don't want to be recording too loud. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be distorting while recording. So let's check our master level quickly. Yeah, mic check. One, two, one, two. Minus three. That's nice. Okay. Cool. So now we heard that vocal right now and it sounded a bit stiff, uh, a bit boring. Next step is to send a bit of our master signal to a reverb bus. So if you look in the, the right side, we've got a reverb bus. I'm using the Zar reverb really nice. Tsar reverb, whatever it's called. And you can use any reverb, man. Whatever you like. Don't worry too much about what it is. What I like to do is cut the low end of my reverb just to get rid of the mud. But you can do whatever you want in terms of that. That's up to you. Next, what I'll add is a delay. Yeah, mic check. You know what I'm saying? Now you got a lot more sauce on your vocals. Um, you want to set... Uh, I have not matched the beat up to the tempo. Okay, this is annoying. I have not matched the beat up um, to the actual tempo of the project or the tempo of the project to the beat. So this will be out of sync. But naturally, if you know what the, the tempo of your beat is, you can set up your delay properly. But that's also another video. So let's see what it sounds like now. Yeah. Mic check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, testing mic, check, test, one, two, three Rapping on a track, and you know I keep it G Yeah, you know how it goes, rapping on a track That sounds quite nice, right? Cool, I mean, that's pretty much all I need to show you, man um, Things that I would avoid is recording with auto-tune That's so stupid, because if you were to send that to someone professional to mix They could not fix that, so I'm giving you an example here. Let's just say the chorus was going to have auto-tune on it. Boom. This is a great... Oh, man, I'm freezing. Sorry about that. Um, you could add this auto-tune to a different bus, so you could actually hear it while recording, but it doesn't actually record onto the waveform. So now we can hear we got auto-tune. Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Rapping on the track, and you know how we do it. Rapping like Soldier Boy, you know I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you know I'll be killing these beats. Rapping on the track, yeah, you know I'm in the streets. Right you now I'm sounding like Yaline. Gotta get the cash, yeah, I gotta get the green. Cool. So if I had recorded that, the actual recording wouldn't have um, the auto-tune in it. So let's just test that out. Yeah, yeah. Freestyle. Yeah. 
Rapping on the track and you know how we do it Gotta get the money, yeah, I'm fly like a stewardess Gotta get the green, yeah, I'll stack it every day And I'm walking in my J's Yeah, go out my way Okay, there you go, right? If we were to listen to this without the auto-tune there would be no re auto tune recorded into the waveform. Rapping on the track, and you know how we do. And that's how all those guys sound without the auto tune. So don't laugh at me. <laughs> Rapping on the track, and you know how we do it. Gotta get the money, yeah, I'm fly like a stewardess. Gotta get the green, yeah, I'll stack it every day. And I'm walking in my J's. Yeah, go out my way. Cool. So my rapping sucks, but you get the idea. So a little bonus that I'm gonna give you guys today is my secret bus. Uh, I got that linked up to a uh, MIDI channel thingy. So basically what this is, man, is you can send this exclusively. Where's the send? Okay, so anyway. We'll send that to this channel here. And basically what this channel, you'll hear it now, it's basically, ah, that delay, okay. It's basically a flanger going into like a trebled out EQ, just with the trebled, super low cut, super high cut, sorry, no low cut, oh, whatever, man. Going into this MDA plugin, download the pack, man, it's, it's free, it's great. And this is what it sounds like when I speak. So if you're listening with headphones, you can see that it's actually modulating from left to right. Mic check, test one, two. That's really cool, right? Cool, so we'll test it out. Rapping on the track and you know how we do it. Gotta get the money, yeah, I'm fly like a Yeah, you know how I'm balling when I'm a team. Gotta get the money, yeah, I'm stacking all the cream. Smoking backwoods, yeah, I'm high off the planet. Shawty wanna fuck with me, but I can't stand her. Yeah, there you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, hate. Don't hate, man. This shit is real. This is great fucking info. And if you prepare to learn, you shall learn. Peace!